Welcome to episode three of Books and Barbs. Uh, we've got some cracking features coming up for you this week. Um, we're going to be looking at David Griffiths taking his book on a night out. Um, Jack Shepard at a carnival at the Yorkshire T20 game. And we've got, we're going to learn that one of our members of the squad speaks fluent Italian. Hope you enjoy. So here we are, Hampshire T20 versus Yorkshire, and I'm just here with uh, Jack Shepard. A little bit loud in the background because we've got the local carnival setting off, which is uh, an unbelievable atmosphere. I mean, this is just only in the Caribbean. Unbelievable. Sheppy, what do you reckon, mate? Absolute carnage. <laughs> Look at this. Got proper carnival atmosphere. It's just brilliant. I love it. I'm just here at Kensington Oval, and there's Danny Briggs on the table with a great view under lights. Danny, well bowled today. Thank you, Dave. What's your thoughts and feelings on the game ahead? Um, well, how many overs left, Dave? Ten? It's about ten. We need, uh, we need to get a wriggle on. But we've got a lot of uh, firepower in the shed, as they say. Have we? Who's have that, we? then? Well, we have Balcom, Wood, and Tomlinson in the hutch. Oh, that's the engine room. What about and, yourself? And I, go, I like to go under the radar, Dave. Yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to the chase. Marvellous. Well, I'll leave you, leave you to your friction in work. <laughs> Evening, David. Would, now, would it be safe to say that you bought a little book with you on the night out? I haven't. I'm trying to... Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Just because you've got all of them tonight, Mark. Okay, right, right so... Come hard at me. So, sorry, say that again. I've answered all the questions correctly. Well, well, a majority would of you, them yeah, you've yeah. guessed and you've got them right. Pure intellect right there. So, you've brought with you on a night out the ultimate quiz book of Trying sport. Trying to keep the lads together on a night out. Yeah. Bit of team cohesion yeah. on a night out. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. James, um, just talk me through what's sitting on the seat next to you on the bus. These are my golf clubs which I bought uh, on the trip. And my aim is to play three cricket games and four rounds of golf. That's I mean, the aim for the tour. That, that is a beautiful aim. And um, just talk me through why you're looking so disappointed today. Well, I had, to, I had a, a tee off for Ames Hill at... Uh, Broadcast to with the rain about, just like in England, we've uh, had to move it to a training soon this afternoon, so I've had to cancel my golf. So I'm very upset, very upset indeed. So you're very up the golf was cancelled today as a result of training being pushed to this afternoon yeah. rather than this morning. Very unhappy. I, I, I feel I feel yeah. strongly for you. There's always tomorrow though, there's always tomorrow. Correct, I love that positive attitude. And Thursday and Friday. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm joined here with Michaela Roberts, uh, fresh from Syria and uh, coming over to apply his trade in the LV County Championship Division 2. Um, how are you finding it? Ho trovato il cambiamento abbastanza difficile perché il calcio è un sport molto energetica e il sport di cricket non si fa niente tutto il tempo. What he's saying is, you know, um, the LB Cancer Championship will be a great challenge this season and one that he's very much looking forward to. Brilliant. And, and how have you found the culture change um, between uh, Milan and uh, Southampton? Ah, la moda e la cultura in Southampton non è, non è comparabile. Soprattutto in contrasto con Milan, dove no, non c'è nessuna moda e nessuna cultura. He's found the, the um, contrast amazing. Uh, he said that Southampton is a beautiful place, much, much more beautiful than Milan. Well, well th thank you very much, and we, and we look forward to hearing more from you um, in the future.